Hi everyone, how are you doing? This is Rajiv, and I welcome you back on my channel Avriti. So this is the place where I do a lot of software tutorials, talk about the latest innovations in the field of digital world. So today's topic is about Google Classroom. Now this is one of the platforms which is offered by Google for absolutely free, and is a boon for academicians like us. So uh, I, I guess it's been around a decade since I'm into academics, and I teach design. and i have had worked with almost you know uh, the top institutions in india which are related to design education so i have quite an understanding how these whole thing work so basically at this time of pandemic where work from home is uh, a regulatory norm people are struggling in managing the classes a lot now in regular classrooms where we physically interact with the student we have the leverage of just you know a uh, pointing at them and then you know asking questions or if they need to ask something they can straight away come to our cabin or meet us somewhere in the campus and then we can discuss things now this thing can be also imitated in the virtual environment with the help of a phone where you could call people point out at them just by dialing their numbers and then having a conversation but imagine maintaining track record of all the conversations you had over phone whatsapp and zoom calls and everything it becomes daunting not just for the faculty the teacher but also for the administration to keep track what happened and how the classes are progressing and on the other hand also it is becoming very very tiresome for the students because they do not just have to interact with one faculty they have so many classes ongoing at a time and then it really is problematic for them to complete the assignment with the scarcity of resources and also manage everything so google classroom is something which is really going to help everyone not just the faculty not just the students but also the admin so let's have a look at the google classroom i'm going to show you a quick introduction of how i'm managing a couple of classes so without further ado let's hop into the uh actual thing and i'm going to show you how i'm managing the classes so what you see on the screen is my google classroom and i have linked it with my personal account you can see avriti.in@gmail.com and once you log in with your personal account into google classroom you have two choices which you can get by clicking on this plus sign the first one is join classes and create classes so obviously as a faculty i did create class and the students joined my class so i am managing at present two classes and i am over with one class so i have archived that particular class so this class is over i am just saving it for the future reference okay now i am going to go back to the active class and then show you around so this is an active class which just got over on april 29th and this is the last message i have given to the entire classroom okay it was really nice to interact with you all and all those things and the future references i have given them and best wishes so uh, i'm going to show you how beautifully it lets you collaborate in one single place with all the students and in fact not just faculty to students but also students to students so peer reviews is something which uh, really needs to be curated uh, and you know uh, kept an eye on um, even in the physical uh, classroom sessions but here it becomes really handy to see everybody responding to your uh, you know uh, posts and not just your post but also i am going to go down and then show you uh, uh, the kind of material student keep on posting so basically this is one assignment i have given them and uh, this is not a submission because for submission you have separate section where you can uh, post your assignments and then student are going to respond to them and you can grade them also i'm going to run you through all these four sections uh, but before i just want you to have a look at the stream so stream is the place which is very much like facebook where students can post their queries uh, they can comment on somebody else's queries they can uh, hear about the notifications they can learn about the assignments posted and everything so it's like a social gathering in a virtual environment which we have where students can post their assignments and then seek peer review so i'm going to go down by scrolling and then show you one of the examples where students have contributed now look at this one so uh prathna patel she has posted this assignment 
editing the images uh, was a topic uh, something which i took and uh, students were supposed to do their work and then post it so i'm just going to quickly click on um, one of the images and it directly opens in the browser itself now another problem which people literally is struggling with and it's not just just faculties but also admin is the it people are also struggling to provide the space now what happens in case of whatsapp if people send you 50 images at a time or a pdf file a 50 mb pdf file they are sending it from their phone or a particular device they are using for sending the messages you are receiving it on your phone and without downloading it in your phone it's not possible to open it so basically the memory is being consumed at their uh, place and your place also and it is really difficult to cope up with so much of data and then manage them inside the limited uh, capacity devices we have now the benefit of having google classroom is that all the data is stored remotely on the google server okay so nothing is getting downloaded as i browse through these images actually these images are just temporarily downloaded in my system and the moment i close this browser window all of the data is erased and we should not be worrying about that the data got erased because it is actually lying there safe in the google server now having said that Look at how people are contributing with their ideas. So all the students are also sort of sharing their, you know, critique uh, on the work. So it's, it's a really nice platform for uh, having peer reviews. Even if we go back to the normal world, I think this platform is really going to uh, help us a lot in managing the academic activities better. Now, this is something which I posted on April 17th. And you can, you know, just... Uh, look at the way things are here in the stream and it's a long stream and you won't believe it was just one week data now imagine getting all these in your email that would make your life hell trust me okay now the second section is about classwork now if you click on that you get to see all the assignments you have created. I have posted a total of three assignments. I'm going to just open one of them and then show you. So basically um, here I can see that uh, total 19 students are there out of 19, 18 people have submitted the assignment. I have graded them also. And one person is still yet to give the assignment. See, may have some issues, uh, but we are not looking at that right now. So basically I have given the instruction. I have also conducted a uh, online session for them online class for them by using google uh, youtube live streaming and uh, we can talk more about that but i think that is going to make this video very long i'm just going to show you a glimpse of how i conducted the class so it's a video i streamed right from my desktop you can do it from your desktop or a laptop where you could see clearly me addressing to the entire class taking the session and on the right hand side you can see how people constantly kept on interacting as the entire session went ahead they could post their queries they could post their suggestions i have also uh, sort of asked them to take notes and then post it there so that we can have a record of it so this was about digital post processing in photoshop where i just you know managed to remove all those freckles and spots from the um, face of this girl okay i'm gonna go back now here also this video is not getting stored in my device so we should not be worrying about uh, the you know our, our uh, uh, device capacity getting over the best part about this is that the video resides at youtube server even the student do not need to download it i streamed it it went directly to the youtube server and the student can stream it directly from the youtube server saves a lot of time a lot of money and efficient Okay, now I'm going to click on the view assignment and then show you quickly how it looks when all of them have submitted assignment. I can see all of it at once. On the left hand side, I have a list where I can perform activities such as marking them. I just need to click on them and that assignment comes here. If I want to uh, pop it up in a separate window so that I can have a better look at it, I simply have to click on it. It opens in a separate window. And then we have the choice of 
just you know uh, going through all the things which they have submitted now here you can see this was the original image and the student edited it and then you know, posted a comparison of uh, the edited and the original one i can grade them here i can put a private comment and then we can interact privately as well here okay and then i can return the submission now from this drop down i can pick out a different student and then check the work okay now i'm going to go back to the main section here also i have instructions and student work so instruction i can modify the instruction i can post some references with the instruction okay i'm going to just click on edit and then show you how you could set up the assignment so basically you have to give a title for the assignment and instruction and you can add variety of files so right from the google drive that means you can store anything in the google drive and then just link that file you don't have to you know just attach it in an email and then uh, bug everyone with hogging up their memory space then you have links so that means you can uh, let's say that there is a blog which you want students to look at you simply just have to copy the link from the browser and then paste it in the link it's going to embed it here then you have the file in case you want to upload something from your local computer and you have the most amazing thing embedding the youtube videos which i did in this case now on the right hand side you have control whether you want to post this assignment for all the students or you can selectively pick the people which you want to target also then you have the points you can define how many points you want you can define the due date the due time and if it falls under any topic or not there is an advanced section also where you could define rubric and it is amazing i have tried and tested it it really works and saves a lot of time but now i'm not going to look at the rubric so you have seen instruction student work and now i'm going to um now another amazing feature i i can't you know stop myself from uh, showing you this because uh, yesterday i tried it and it really blown my mind so basically once i have given them three assignments okay i'm going to show you something um let's let's look at the grades so how this entire class is performing out of the three assignments which was marked out of 15 15 and 20 the average is this much so this is the class average so the average of the class is scoring above 80% which is extremely satisfactory for me and i can see the people how they are doing it and who are the people who are below the average i can speak to them see something is wrong you are not being attentive on all those things you know and then give them a gyan about how to you know improve and all those things now all these marks are there okay now let's say i want to export it as an excel sheet and then preserve it in hard copy in, and file it for the you know admin uh, uh, roles ad, admin things um, i'm so excited i'm i'm you know running out of words to show you this feature so basically when you go to the classroom you have this gear icon uh, sorry no not this one so basically you have to be inside any assignment and then on this top right corner you have this gear icon which you see you click on that and you have option of downloading all the grades as csv csv stands from comma separated values so uh, maybe this is not going to work so much in your case but look at this amazing feature here copy all grades to google sheets it's a life saver i'm just going to export it and then show you this so if you click on this just wait for a while let google do its magic until the time it loads i'm going to go back and then show you people section okay so in the people section you have all the teachers listed you can invite the teacher you can also invite your hod to just supervise things have a look how things are going uh and uh, they can join in the class you have all the students if you want to mail all of them you can simply check and in the actions you can choose email all of them okay you can add the students by typing in their email ids and inviting them or you can also invite it in a different uh, send the invitation in a different way by going to the stream and look at this class code so just this code if they log into their google classroom and then while joining the class they put this code they'll be enrolled for the class now i think the grades are prepared let's switch back to the tab and look at this amazing thing 
this is this is amazing you know i don't have enough words to explain how beautiful it is because it's a life saver now google has prepared an excel sheet for us categorized everything the way it should have been it shows number of assignments the headers of the assignments the class average so basically everything which we saw in the grade section is being exported here for us and then we can you know just file it we can take a print out even though i suggest to not take a print out you know we must look at the sustainable aspect of uh, academic functions as well but this is really 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 amazing now i'm going to go back to the classroom and that i think i have covered almost every part of the google classroom right from the stream to the class work how you could embed your suggestions references how you can evaluate them by viewing the assignment how you can add people people means teachers faculties admin people and the students how you can address all of them at once by just you know uh, clicking on this button and then sending them a collective email or uh, you can also send them separate emails from here okay and then you can look at the grades see the collective performance of the entire class and then you know uh, sort of uh, address specific students who are lagging behind and all those things so i'm going to go back to the stream and i believe i have lured you enough into using classroom google classroom it is really really amazing and uh, not only if you are uh, you know from design field or you belong to a university where design is being taught but also for other academic functions it is really a life saver even for primary schools it is going to be very beneficial for creating lectures and how to give online lectures the way i am doing this video if you want to learn more about it you know keep on following my channel i am going to soon enough post the video how to create content like this which you are seeing right now so thank you so much for being till the end of the video i hope it gave you a lot of information and makes it easier for you to manage your classrooms thank you so much